like that Zero Aura. I'm sure a lot of you guys are super annoyed by Zero Aura at this point. Everybody got it for free, it just one-shots you completely. And Slowbro's Unite move is beautiful against that Zero Aura, against any of these speedsters. They're doing that Zapdos, man. Can I get it? Can I steal it? I don't even remember. Yo, you're watching Shurko, we're back with some more Pokemon Unite, and in this video, we will be checking out Slowbro, guys. Slowbro is one of the free Pokemon that we get for logging in. I believe even the first day, you instantly get this big man, and I just thought I would show you the best builds, the best held items, the best move set, and give you lots of tips on how to play Slowbro properly, because if you didn't pick Snorlax, as your starter Pokemon, this is the only free defender that you get. So if you have to fill the tank position in your rank games, which you really should if you guys don't have a tank, man, it is always better to take the high road and just, you know, bow down to your teammates, man. Take that missing position because it will win you games, okay? And after this video, you should be well equipped to even carry with this Pokemon. Now, before we get into the build, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you don't miss any further Pokemon Unite content on this channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, Slowbro, again, if you check out uh, tier lists for Pokemon Unite, even my tier lists, or uh, even ask me during my streams what I think about Slowbro, I'm gonna be honest, this is definitely probably the worst defender in the game, guys. But that doesn't mean that it's completely useless. I think it can still perform extremely well. And a lot of times, especially in the solo queue, the speedsters are the main carries, the jungle speedsters. Like that Zera Aura. I'm sure a lot of you guys are super annoyed by Zera Aura at this point. Everybody got it for free. It just one-shots you completely. And Slowbro's Unite move is beautiful against that Zera Aura, against any of these speedsters. And as you can see in the gameplay that I'm showing you as well in the background, we're completely demolishing the enemies while they're diving on top of us at our tower. That is the main strength of Slowbro. You can really camp under that point, continuously uh, regen health because of the point healing, but also with your slack off early game, with your uh, water gun. Water gun pretty decent in lane to last hit those wild Pokemon. You saw me do this in this game pretty well as well. And then I went for the Surf. Now you can go for Skull as well, but Surf is, I think, a little bit better because it deals decent amounts of damage, but especially it provides so much CC. Now they nerfed this in the past, but it is still a very, very formidable uh, move to take. Again, as soon as you get the upgraded surf, all three waves actually knock up the enemies. Right now, only my first wave is knocking them up. But again, at level, I believe, 11 or actually level 13, I'm not quite sure, but we will see in this gameplay, you will get those triple knockups, and then you become an absolute menace in teamfights. And then, as you can see, this is a little bit controversial, but I went for the Amnesia instead of the Telekinesis. Telekinesis Again, like, I'm talking to you about how we can counter these speedsters and telekinesis is almost like a second unite move, you know? Very similar, just that you have to hit it, it's a very thin skill shot, but that shouldn't be an issue, you know? If you practice a little bit, should be very doable. But what Amnesia gives us is just so amazing. It makes us one of the tankiest, if not maybe even the tankiest uh, Pokémon besides maybe a Snorlax with its unite move um, in the entire game because it gives us damage reduction, it gives us both defenses, so special defense and physical defense, and it makes us immune to any CC effects for a little duration as well. And on top of that, it empowers your next Surf or Scald move. It makes them deal more damage, okay? Now that is very important, because you actually wanna deal damage with Slowbro, guys, because of the passive, this blue health that you keep seeing on me. What it basically does is, instead of just taking damage, Slowbro takes damage, but it remains as blue health. And any damage that Slowbro returns onto enemy Pokémon, uh, onto wild Pokémon as well, will be regent up from that... Uh, it basically gives you lifesteal. You can lifesteal the blue health. If you played League of Legends, it's very similar to Tom Kench, okay? So, if you have that empowered Surf, it really helps you a lot 
to just sustain during these team fights. Then you pop the Unite move and you will see it beautifully this game once. Up in the top lane very soon, we will just... It is just so good, man. We will completely demolish that Zera Aura and at the same time also just heal so much throughout the entire team fight. And yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Slowbro, again, I can see why they put it so low with these tier lists. I would do it myself as well. But that is not the end of the story, you know what I mean? It, it's very, very decent. Oftentimes, again, if we talk back about the solo queue, most of you guys are solo queuing, I'm solo queuing. Most of the people who make these tier lists are making team-oriented tier lists, you know? And Slowbro definitely is uh, rough to play there. But in solo queue, where like most of the time you will have you're the good player, right? And you're trying to beat the enemy good player. Maybe it happens to be that the enemy good player is on a speedster. All of his other teammates aren't that amazing and he's carrying them. You're trying to carry your team. Well, you unite move that guy and it is an easy game, let me tell you. So, it is not... Again, guys, if you don't like playing defenders and you don't want to uh, buy defenders, like you don't want to buy that Snorlax, you picked maybe Pikachu as your starter so you get the 6k coins because you get Pikachu anyway through the pre-registration rewards. Um, yeah, by the way, it was level 11 that you get the upgraded Surf, so it's very good, you get it pretty early. I was able to last hit that um, Dreadnought right there, I instantly Unite moved the Zera Aura as well. Exactly what I've been telling you, what you should do, it is absolutely beautiful, it, it, it just like... No one can do anything against that. You can't, like, cancel the Unite move, nothing. As soon as you Unite move, you get a huge shield, you heal your blue health back up, and the enemy is just stunlocked, you know, and your team can just go to town. So it is definitely very, very nice. Someone is surrendering, but that is, of course, absolute rubbish right there. Um, but yeah, also, we will get the upgraded Amnesia soon, which even gets better because not, then it also boosts our special attack. Okay, and the held items as well, I showed you at the start of the video, I didn't really go into them because they're super self-explanatory. On any of these tank defenders, you want to go full tank, you want to go score shield, body barrier and focus band. Nothing else to really interchange. Also, I have to mention here, I was terribly wrong about something, I'm pretty sure, but uh, I will talk about it in a, in a different video as well. I was building weakness policy on... Um, Blastoise, but Blastoise is a special attacker. I thought weakness policy would give you 12% bonus damage on top of your whole damage, you know, but it in fact gives you 12% attack. So that is of course not good on Blastoise, so if you checked out that video, I'm really sorry. Please don't use that build, just use the build that I showed you here on this slow bro as well. Just full tank is the best option for that Blastoise as well, because it is a special attacker, Slowbro is a special attacker, so we can't go weakness policy. I would love to, guys. I think weakness policy, if it worked the way I thought it did, with 12% increased damage, it would be so good on Slowbro, because again, you just heal so much through that bonus damage. I think it would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, you can see, the last two minutes are starting here. Zapdos is up, and now we're gonna be sweating a little bit, because as you can see, the game isn't as easy as it seemed, right? But we'll see. Um, maybe I'm remembering this wrong. I thought there would be a crazy team fight as well where I would unite move beautifully, but maybe I am remembering this uh, wrongfully. It was from a different gameplay, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, let's see. Can I can I beat them here? They're doing that Zapdos, man. Can I get it? Can I steal it? I don't even remember. Oh, I didn't get it. But I used the Unite move. We take out the Zera Aura. There is that team fight I was talking about. It wasn't in the top lane. It was in the at the Zapdos pit. And because we got those two kills, they don't actually have a lot of people to um, score with. So the Zapdos not doing enough so far. My Greninja, as you can see in the top lane, is trying to score. I'm trying to score as well right now. I'm trying to get there. But of course... Um, we get stunned by the Pikachu. I just couldn't do anything else. I was just trying to waste the Cramorant's time. But again, back to the topic of um, the Defender talk, right? Most of you probably don't like playing tank. Like, let's be real, guys. We are killers. We want to kill people, man. We want to deal damage, bro. We want to play that Talonflame, you know, the Firebird. We want to play that Absol, the weird dude with the knife on his head, man. You know, we want to deal damage, right? So, 
The coins, man, we don't get a lot of coins. Let's be real, if you're free to play, you're not gonna be unlocking that many Pokemon. Like, every two weeks you can get one... Um, I'm not sure what the math is, but I thought I think I remember every two or three weeks you can get one for 10k uh, if there is no special events, but there's always special events. So let's say every two weeks you can get one for 10k. You don't want to buy a Snorlax. <laughs> you don't want to buy... I mean, Blastoise is really cool. You might want to buy that. But again, you don't want to... <laughs> we actually lost that. I thought we won. <laughs> we lost by 40. That's hilarious, guys. Apparently, I have a fish brain, but it was still a really good display of the slow bro mechanics and stuff i think you saw a lot uh, on how to play this pokemon you want to hit the surf on as many people as possible but yeah again slow bro might not be the best pokemon in the game as you can see here i tanked like 30 percent um but it is still decent like the difference between these defenders yes snorlax is going to be much better than a slow bro but it's not like much better doesn't mean one is unplayable both are very decent. Slowbro is very formidable in and of itself. You can absolutely pick it. Don't feel pressured into wasting your precious coins just to buy a Snorlax or a Blastoise or whatever if you don't actually want to play them, just so you have that fallback if no one picks a tank, no one picks a defender in your ranked games. You can just fall back to this free-to-play Slowbro with this build. I'm sure you will do amazingly well. So hey, let me know how that goes. Let me know if you tried it, if you tried this build. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.